right, what's up guys? So before we get into today's video, I'm gonna give a little bit of a recap of last video. So basically the issue is I was having problems with the viscous coupler, um, specifically the viscous coupler, not really wanting to lock up and send torque to the rear. So what I ended up doing is actually welding the viscous coupler. So now the car is locked four wheel drive and it seemed to help a decent amount, like actually a lot, because obviously now we're getting torque to the rear. Um, but I also adjusted my suspension. Um, I cut the bump stop, so I have a little bit more uh, room for the uh, suspension to travel. And I also turned the dampening way down, so it's a lot softer now. It drives so much better on the road, and that helped a lot. And I was also having an issue with my um, ECU cutting um, engine uh, speed because basically uh, it was seeing a oil pressure um, uh, malfunction. And I got that all fixed and everything. And now the car is pulling like an animal. Um, so it is working very, very well. And um, I'll show some of the footage I took and then we'll get into all the pulls and everything. And then hopefully um, we got another viscous, a known good working viscous coupler coming in. And we're gonna be testing that too. But that might not be for a while because there's some stuff we gotta fix up on the car before we uh, start doing any more road driving on it. Uh, so let's get into it. And also one last thing, I know some people had some concerns about locking the car four wheel drive, but honestly it drives really well. Under five miles an hour, you can hear a little bit like of whining and you get a little bit of wheel skip um, with the, uh, you know, the, the wind up and whatnot. But like when you're driving, you really can't feel a thing. You can't tell at all. And the car, it just feels like it's on rails. It pulls so straight. It always wants to go straight, which I love because I just like straight line stuff. That's it. I just like going really fast in a straight line. I don't like going really fast. You're putting a lot of power down around corners. So it really hasn't been a problem for me. The angle gear uh, case temps have stayed the same. The oil temperature stayed the same and it's working very well in locked four wheel. We're still gonna try the viscous coupler um, and then we'll make the decision on which route we wanna go. So I got the welded coupler back. So now we have the free wheel down here welded. This is already welded. And now we have the viscous coupler welded. So you can see you basically weld this to the body and then you still need to leave this because that goes into the bearing and the torque tube. So this is all welded up. Um, I ordered all new hardware for the prop shaft and the torque tube and the viscous coupler, but I'm gonna wait to uh, put that on because we're gonna test this one, then we're gonna take it out and put in a known good working one and yada, yada, yada. So this thing might be coming out a couple more times before it's final. So uh, let's get this uh, weld at one tested and see what locked four wheel drives really like. All right, so I did get everything installed and the VC locked and it's running locked all wheel drive. You can see if I rotate this rear tire or not locked all wheel drive, locked four wheel drive. Of course I got the e-brake on so I can't, but all the tires now rotate. Um, and I took it out for a test drive and it still seemed to not have much traction. So I really think we're gonna have to mess around with the suspension. I think. It seems to be bouncing and skipping and hopping and sliding all over the place. And I think these bump stops, I can definitely see the bump stops are making contact with the uh, control arms. And I think we just need to trim the bump stops so that the suspension has a bit more travel and then we can soften up those rear shocks and hopefully get some better traction in the rear and actually get this thing to hook up all wheel drive. Um, another thing I noticed, which is strange is the U-joint is so close to this carrier plate on here and it actually makes uh, makes contact with it on a launch. And I was trying to figure out where the contact was and you can kind of see it's right there. And if I pull on this, you can hear that um, inside of the carrier, the U-joint's actually smacking on this plate. So I got to fix that. Um, but other than that, I don't know, the, the rear end's just making a lot of clunking and sliding and thunking and whatnot when the rear's getting torque and power. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to keep playing around with it. I think fixing this suspension is gonna help a lot. Uh, I'm gonna fix that suspension, do another drive. If that doesn't fix it, I'm gonna pull out one of the front axles. I 3D printed this plug and we're going to uh, run it rear wheel drive and we'll um, test it that way and just tune the suspension with the rear wheel drive until it's working well rear and then it should work pretty well all wheel. So, or all wheel or full four wheel. So let's keep playing around with it. I got a used known good working viscous coupler coming and I don't know, it's just gonna take some time to tune all this and get everything all situated. Just tested the car, locked four wheel drive. 
Um, I finally fixed the traction issue. The rear suspension helped a lot, but it was actually an issue in the tune. I think the engine was cutting out and it wasn't throwing any, any notifications on the dash or uh, I need to check engine lights, but it was just, the oil pressure was like flickering. It was just barely hitting the minimum threshold and, and triggering it. So I fixed all that and now it just pulls right to 8,500. Oh my God, it is fast in second gear. It is totally all, it's totally four wheel drive right now. It really grips. When the tires are cold, like when I first take it out, eh, traction's a little iffy, but once I drive it around, warm everything up, it freaking rips. So, um, yeah, I think we're good. Um, I'm gonna get some video, hopefully of a four wheel drive, and then I'm waiting on the new, good known working viscous coupler. We're gonna throw that in and see how the car drives with that. So, hopefully by the end of this video, we have um, everything sorted and we can start working on other stuff. lost a decent amount of fluid i mean not a whole lot but it's this freaking oil pump it keeps like getting smashed against the subframe i guess and just busting everything up so we're gonna have to fix that soon but i'm gonna get all this cleaned up and probably pull this off and see how much fluid's actually in there there still should be a, a decent amount but we gotta start actively working on getting some of these uh leaks a little bit more under control i've been doing so much of just doing poles and all that stuff but now that we know the all-wheel drive is working we can work on this a little bit more got the fluid drained there was only about three quarters of what i originally put in there because we had this pump come off twice but i mean there's no like metal in it it's starting to get a little bit dark it was like a real bright red now it's more of like a cranberry but um yeah i don't there's no like massive particles of metal so everything should be set up fine in the angle here I'm gonna try and grab my, um, I have like a endoscope and I'm gonna see if I can put it up there to kind of get a look at the teeth. So if you look a little closer, you can see that the pump actually broke. <laughs> that fitting broke, womp womp. So I think the issue is solid mounting it. I know a couple other people expressed their concerns that, hey, solid mounting it's probably not a good idea. And yeah, I think you guys were right, so. We're gonna have to figure out a different solution for this because anytime the engine just moves back, it must be, this must be hitting something and snapping those fittings. And I think I tightened them up so much that now it was tight and it must've hit this fricking um, steering rack and just snapped. So I think what we're gonna have to do is put the pump maybe like over here or something and run a, um, I have another 12 inch uh, 4AN soft line that maybe we can run off. But I mean, other than that, the case didn't get too hot and the fluid looks fine. So I don't think there's any damage. Um, I still have about 500 milliliters of fluid in there. And I think I put 750. So I lost about 250 milliliters over the past two times it blown. But again, oil pressure's always been solid. So I know there's always oil going through the pinion. 
and um, temperature was always fine. So I know it was getting adequate cooling and lubrication. So definitely not worried about any damage, but maybe we'll take a peek up in there just to see how the case is doing because we haven't really checked on it in 100 or so miles. But yeah, the car runs insane locked four wheel drive. It is a freaking blast. It just hooks and books. And um, yeah, next video, we're gonna be testing the viscous coupler and see how that um, reacts. And um, I'm probably not gonna be, maybe I can try and launch this thing four wheel drive a couple times if I can maybe put together a solution for that angle gear pump, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do that this weekend anymore because I'm gonna need to order parts. But super happy, we gotta fix the PCV up front because I'm still kind of getting some, um, you can see there's a little bit of leakage coming from the box because it doesn't have a perfect seal because of how I JB welded a fitting on it. But yeah, things are running well. Four wheel drive test is successful. This thing definitely is hooking up on all four and we just gotta wait for that viscous coupler, fix that PCV, fix the pump. And this thing should be like leak free, problem free because I've had not a single issue with anything else. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna Hopefully keep working along with this thing and it might be another week or two until I give you more updates or maybe I'll start doing really, really shorter update videos. I don't know, but stay tuned guys.